tell us a little bit about the day that you, you found out that uh, when that guard called down and said, uh, pack up your shit, you're getting out of here. Yeah, it felt, felt like I got stuck. I couldn't believe it, you know? I figured out, like I told y'all, I figured I'll be there for life. When once he told me that, I got stuck. I was too happy to move. So next thing I know, felt like somebody turned on the water fountain. I started crying like a baby. Within five minutes, ten minutes, my whole front of my t-shirt was soaking wet. That, that two Mexicans I used to be in prison with, we used to make our little spray, you know, little food every day. So they, I had a, a black cellar. He sitting down there looking at me. They came on east side, grabbed me, brought me upstairs. Said, we, we gonna get you, get you out of here. But everybody else just was looking. I went in there, she got my clothes, I left everything else. <laughs> I ain't even left, left, left my dentures. <laughs> and top and bottom, I left everything. I just want to get out of there. Then once I was able to move, you know, they got my clothes. Think about it, though. Once I got everything out, they brought me all that way you had to, when you leave, I couldn't call nobody to come get me. So they, they locked me up again in the cell. I think about 20 minutes, God came to me. They say, do you have an address where you going to live? I said, yeah, let's go. So he brought me from Draper all the way to 21st South and 2nd East. That's where my brother was living. And he was having a barbecue. Yeah. I got there, I pressed the button, but it went straight to the phone. So he... Yes. He asked me where I was. I said, I'm at your house. I said, I'm out. That was it. <laughs> so the fact that you keep fighting for this, it's not because you have faith that the justice system will see the error of its ways. It's, it's that you, you are determined to get what is rightfully yours. I should get it after four and a, four and a half years. Four and, a, four and a half years of my life gone, I could never get it back. Not, a, not, not one second of it, I could get it back. I probably have a good job, nice house, everything I wanted. I, I, would, I would finish, finish, finish that, that school by now. And at least I'm still trying to make a life it's better than the life I had while we in prison. But, you know, I know a molar. They ain't want to work as fast like I wanted to. But at least I could have a mind. I'm, a, I'm physical to do most of the stuff I want to do. I got a little job working for the county. But it, it's all right. So your dream is a porch, open landscape, a couple of beers, cool of the evening, and the peace of mind to know that you found some kind of love. Yeah, you know, it's just I got something on my own. I can do what I want. But the only thing I want to do is just, just have a peace of mind, eat much food I want to eat, <laughs> any kind of food I want to eat. Back home, you got a lot of food you can eat. All kind of seafood, alligator, raccoon. <laughs> I good. like that. Yeah. And get, get in the backyard, and some crawfish, crab, swim, ball them in a big old pot. Put some corn, corn on the cob, get some potato, cut it in half, some onions, some lemon. Oh. So what we do, we only put one bag, put about two or three bags in there. We 
when you eat it, the root your hair will get on fire. <laughs> That's the time you need about four or five kids of beer. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you eat about one or two of them. <laughs> cool it down.